active live radar, your three-minute advantage, so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 Live Doppler. Just a fantastic Saturday afternoon. Lots of sunshine, some high-level clouds throughout the day. A beautiful sunset just occurred a few minutes ago in the western sky over eastern Tuscaloosa County. Also a pretty warm day today after a cool start to the morning. We made it up into the 70s this afternoon. Still sitting in the 70s in Tuscaloosa at 70 in Birmingham, 65 degrees in Anniston. I bet you could have guessed that the WVTM 13 live Doppler was checking in all quiet right now. We look to stay that way through the evening hours. Now overnight tonight, increasing clouds at 4 a.m. Mostly cloudy 58 degrees by 7 a.m. tomorrow a 30% chance for some showers. That's because of a cold front that will move in. We'll start to track it later on tonight, crossing the Mississippi River after midnight. It'll begin to move into northwest Alabama around daybreak tomorrow, then passing through the Birmingham Metro, just as a skinny line of some light to moderate rain showers. It may rain, rain for about five minutes, and that's just about it as this pushes on through. It'll pass by around lunchtime. We're all dry and we see the sunshine return for our Sunday afternoon. It's going to be breezy tomorrow behind the frontal passage. Those northwest winds whipping in and also some cooler air coming in tomorrow afternoon. We'll make it into the low 70s across portions of uh, southern uh, and central Alabama, but north Alabama only getting down into the uh, up into the 60s for high temperatures tomorrow. Then once the sun sets, temperatures are going to drop very quickly tomorrow evening down into the upper 30s and low 40s. Meanwhile, we're still talking about the tropics. Tropical storm Iota in the Caribbean Sea with winds of 60 miles an hour and over the coming days likely to intensify and become a major hurricane, unfortunately affecting the same area in Central America that Ada did just a week ago. A Category 3 hurricane making landfall in Nicaragua sometime Monday afternoon, then weakening as it moves over the higher terrain of Central America. No effect on us or on the Gulf of Mexico. Our seven day forecast showing that chance for a morning shower tomorrow, then breezy sunshine returning for the afternoon. Monday, not looking too bad. It's going to be a cold start to the morning. The afternoon, though, shaping up to be really nice. Highs in the middle 60s. Another chilly start to the day on Tuesday. Look at Wednesday morning, 39 degrees, so a pretty cold start to that day. We will start to see warmer temperatures as we go through the second half of next week up to 70 on Friday. But notice other than tomorrow morning, we're looking at dry weather over the next five to seven days. Jared.